Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll share nine awesome AutoCAD shortcuts and commands that I'm sure are mostly new for you and will take your productivity to a completely new level. So with that, let's get started. So the first command in this list is cal. It will allow you to just make multiple calculations right here on the command line. Let me show you how it works. So I'll simply go to line tool and I'll start making lines. So here I'll just make a line of length, let's say 200 unit. And here we are, we've got 200 unit line. And now let's say we want to make another one of length 150. So there we are. Now I want to make another line here, but instead of adding a simple number, I just want to perform a calculation. For example, I want to add length, which is equal to two pi r where pi is, well, the pi value 3.14 and r is just radius of any other geometry or any other object from your drawing. Now, to do the calculation, all you need to do is simply type apostrophe C-A-L. Now, press enter. And as you can see, I am adding this apostrophe cal command directly in the line command. So it's a running command. It will add the calculation mode right inside this line command. So I'll press enter and now we are in the calculation mode. So simply type 2 multiplied by, that's this star sign, pi for pi, again a star sign, and then the radius value. If you know the radius value, you can just type it here. For example, let's say the radius is 36.2 and I'll just type that press enter but before I do that simply specify the direction where that line should be and press enter and here we are we've got this line of length 227.45 which is equal to well 2 pi r value so that's how you can perform calculations right here now press enter to exit this command now the second one is multiple using multiple command you can continue with your existing command you can just run multiple instances of it without exiting it let me show you an example so i'll go to line tool again i'll start with line and here i'll make two lines press enter now we are out of this command but to start it again we need to press enter once again we've started the command and well you can make line press enter and enter again to repeat this so this process will continue if you want to exit this command and repeat it again but if you want to cut just one single step from this entire process then you can use multiple let me show you so i'll type multiple and enter now type the name of command so i'll type l enter and now if i make the line and press enter key it will exit command as well as start it again so once again we are into line mode press enter and line command is still active so basically it won't exit your command it will just exit the current instance of command and it will start it again so that's the multiple command now the next one is arc text so if you want to make text which is aligned along an arc well you can use this so i'll simply make an arc well, maybe like that using three point arc option. And here, if I type a text, there is no way I can just align it here. So let's just type sample text, make it longer. And there are no options here. So it will always look horizontal like so. But now let's align it along this arc. And for that, simply type arc text, press enter. And now select the arc, which is this one. Now this will give you this arc aligned text window. Here you can type the text. So let's just type sample text aligned on an arc in AutoCAD. So pretty big text and you can change the formatting options. You can add a text style if you have, you can change the font, text height, width factor and all these other things. We'll leave the default values for now. Click OK and here we are, we've got the text. But as you can see, we have a problem. Text is very tiny. It's almost invisible. So we'll fix it. Now to fix it, you don't need to go back to the command and simply select the text and double click. And that's gonna open arc align text properties. Simply go to the height here and change that. So I'll maybe make it two, press tab key, and that's bigger, but maybe I can just make it like five to make it even better. All right, there we are. You can change the width factor. You can actually decrease or increase this value here. I'll just decrease it. I'll just make it 0 0.6 and now it will shrink like that. You can also increase the width factor. There are also other options that you can change. Now, another thing is circle align text. Now there is no direct command for that and you can directly use this arc aligned text for making text which is aligned along a circle. So first make a circle and here we are actually using 
a clever workaround. So simply make a line and then cut this circle like so and I'm going to trim it. So technically we are not making a circle aligned text. This one is an arc and though it may look like a circle, well AutoCAD will recognize it as an arc and now we can make text along this. So once again arc text, enter, select this arc and write the text here. All right, so here's the text. Now, if I click OK, we have this. Once again, it's very tiny. So you can just double click and change the values. For example, here, I'll just make it five. And that's bigger. But we have another problem here. At the point where it starts and end, there is hardly any gap. Now to fix it, you can go to left offset and right offset and increase this value. Maybe just make it two unit towards left and two unit towards right. Now we have the gap. If you want to make it larger, maybe make it five on the left, five on the right, and now we have more gap and we can just see it clearly. And that's our arc aligned text. Now, before we move any further, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, 3D Connection. They've been kind enough to send me their latest 3D Connection keyboard. Now, this keyboard is different than all the regular keyboards. Well, apart from the value and the quality that you would expect from 3D Connection products, it has now a separate number pad. Well, this number pad can be used for entering numbers and uh, you don't need to rely on the top number bar of your keyboard to just enter the numbers. And the interesting thing is you can just put it on the left side or right side of your keyboard based on your preference. Now, another great thing about this 3D Connection keyboard is its compatibility with different CAD softwares. So let's say I have AutoCAD and if you want to now assign some short keys, then you can do that using the hotkey option of this keyboard. So here at the top, you can see we have one to 12 hotkeys here for the main keyboard, as well as we have hotkeys for the number pad. And you can actually assign different commands based on your software. So if I go to AutoCAD and then if I launch the 3D connection software, it will automatically recognize the software. And if I go to buttons, it's going to assign some buttons automatically, though you can change these buttons based on your preferences. So that's about the 3D connection keyboard. Now, back to the video. Now the next command is oops. This will let you restore any deleted file. Let me show you how it works and how it's different from undo command. So I'll simply go to circle, I'll make a circle. Then I'll go to a rectangle and I'll make a rectangle. Now let's go to ellipse and I'll just make an ellipse. And now let's say I want another circle, but before that, I will actually delete this ellipse. I don't need it. And now I'll make a circle. I'll leave the room for that ellipse and I'll make it. And then again, I'll just make a rectangle. So here we are. So we deleted this ellipse here. And then after that, we created other geometries. Now, if I press Control Z to undo, it's just going to undo this one, then this one, and then it will add the ellipse. But what if we only want to bring that ellipse and we don't want to change anything else in the drawing? In that case, simply type OOPS, oops, press enter. It will bring back the last deleted object. So that's the oops command. All right. Now we have been working on this drawing for quite some time. And if you want to check the total editing time of this drawing, then you can use time command, T-I-M-E, enter. And that's going to show you well, the total time is spent on this drawing. So total time is spent on this drawing is 10 minute, 53 seconds. And this drawing started on 16th of August, 2022. Here's the time. And using this time command, you can actually see the total editing time of any drawing. Let me show you another drawing. So here I have this standard Autodesk file, which is available with AutoCAD. So when you install AutoCAD, this will show up in the start tab. So that's the standard file. Now let's see how long it took to just make this one. So I'll type time, enter, and we have some really interesting informations here. Well, the first thing is this drawing took four days, three hour, 26 minutes to just make. All right. And the drawing was first made on 28 May, 1997. So it's a pretty old drawing. And that's how you can check time related information related to any drawing. Now, the next command is DWG prefix. Now, it often happens that you have a drawing 
which is open and you let's say opened it using xref or any other feature but you don't know its exact location in that case if you want to find out the location of any drawing then all you need to do is simply use dwg prefix so that's the command you can use type dwg prefix press enter and here on the command line it's going to show you the location so right now it's on f g drive documents and house plans and that's where this drawing is located all right the next command is mirroring text now if you type text in autocad let's say i'll type here autocad and exit out of this zoom in here we are and mirror it the result won't look very interesting so i'm going to make a mirroring line i'll select mirror select the text enter and select the mirroring line and as you can see it's not quite interesting it's just a copy paste it's not a mirrored image but if you want to make an actual mirrored copy then you can change the system variable for that again i'll just make a copy of this and maybe a copy of this line too here and now i'll change the system variable mirror text press enter its value is zero change it to one and enter now mirror it so i'll go to mirror select this text enter this point and this point and now it's a mirror image so that's the system variable which will change mirroring of your text now it's a mirrored copy not just a simple copy i'll change the mirror text system variable back to zero all right the next one is text orient now i'll show it using an example so i'll simply make a text autocad sample all right and here we have this text now i'll make a circle right about here and we'll make a simple array along the circle so i'll go to this drop down select polar array select the text enter select the center and now add number of objects maybe 12 and i'll deactivate associative option if it is checked just uncheck it and close array done so we've got this text now there is a problem here if you look closely we've got this as the main text but all the other texts are simply rotating and at some point it will become upside down and now it's not clearly readable at least these texts now to make it readable you can select t orient or text orient command so this is how it works i'll select it all and i'll make a copy of this now i'll use t orient press enter now select this text entirely and press enter now we have only one option which is most readable simply press enter and look at this text here all these texts are now aligned properly these five texts and they are now readable you can compare it with these texts here so that's t orient command and finally the last one in this list is aperture now let me show you what that command is and for that i'll make a rectangle now if i make a circle and if i let's say want to make it on one of these vertices i'll simply bring it close to that vertex and at some point autocad will recognize the vertex and it will highlight it which happens to be at this distance all right so at this distance it is recognizing it i'll click i'll make the circle now i'll type aperture press enter and here we have a value for aperture from 1 to 50 currently it's set to 10 i'll just change that to 50 enter now i'll repeat the process so go to circle now i'm bringing my cursor close and right here we have the snap point so as you can see it is recognizing the snap point at a reasonable distance now and that's the aperture value so with a larger aperture value the snap point distance or the area of influence for the snap point will increase with a smaller value it will decrease the default value is 10 i'll simply well, make the circle and I'll change the aperture value back to 10. But depending on your personal preference, you can change this aperture value. So these are some of the shortcuts from our comprehensive list of 150 AutoCAD shortcuts ebook. To get the complete list of more than 150 commands and shortcuts in AutoCAD, download our free ebook. Link is in the description.